Let's turn to the uh, worker now. So what is the surplus from the worker perspective from uh, taking the job? Okay, so there are two things to consider. So what is the worker's surplus? <coughs> so if the worker is employed, he gets a wage double. If the worker is, remains unemployed, you know, he gets a utility flow that we call um, Z. Okay? So here we, we assume that um, workers have a, a linear utility function and uh, so there is no risk aversion or anything like that. Um, so that um, the utility gain um, so Z is a utility flow but we are going to measure it in units of output so that W and Z can be comparable you know, we don't want to mix uh, apples and um, tomatoes so this is in units of output. Okay, so Z is a value in units of output of having uh, of staying unemployed. So the utility gain from employment is going to be W minus Z, and again this is per unit time. Okay. Now. So what's interesting is uh, to now compare the trajectory of our, uh, of our workers who are employed and unemployed. So let, let's do that. So let's assume here we have an unemployed worker, an employed worker here, and here we have an unemployed worker. So the worker is going to be employed, and then at a rate S, the worker may lose its job and then become unemployed. Okay, so that's uh, so this is what may happen to an, uh, an employed worker. This is S is the, the arrival rate of that event of losing a job. Okay, and in the background we have a Poisson process that describes that arrival rate. Okay, right. Now let's look at an unemployed worker. So the unemployed worker can start unemployed. But then what happens is that with at a rate f of theta, again there's a Poisson process. So at a rate f of theta, the worker may be able to find a job and become employed. In which case, you know, if that happens, if the employment happens before the worker was employed has lost his job, then at that time here, the worker who had a job and the worker who are employed are exactly in the same situation. So, you know, they're exactly in the same situation, they expect to have exactly the same surplus from life. Okay, so here, uh, you know, the surplus from having started, the, if you want the deficit from having started unemployed here, the deficit has become zero. Okay. Now, it's also possible that actually uh, it takes longer for the unemployed to be uh, to find a job. So, you know, another possibility is that the unemployed stays here for a long time. And so, if that's the case, what happens is that once the worker loses its job, even if the unemployed doesn't find a job, here again the deficit becomes zero because now both workers are unemployed, although one started with an advantage here of having a job. So the bottom line from that little diagram is that 
as soon as uh, the employed worker you know, loses a job or the unemployed worker finds a job the, kind of the initial advantage from starting employed has vanished basically so the value from starting uh, employed is equal to exactly zero. So what that means is that um, from the, the worker's perspective, started as an, starting as an unemployed has value only until either he loses his job or the unemployed worker finds a job. Okay. And so the question is the so we, basically the question is after how much time do we have these events that either the employed worker loses a job or the unemployed worker finds a job. Okay? And so basically what's very uh, the key thing here is that we have two poison process. We have one poison process that happens at rate S in which an unemployed worker loses a job. We have another poison process which happens at, at rate F of theta in which the unemployed worker finds a job and we are looking at uh, at which speed the minimum of these two processes is going to happen because we are trying to find the first time that either somebody loses a job or finds a job. And the key thing is that if you have a Poisson process um, with, that arrives at rate you know, S and you have another Poisson process that arrives at rate F of theta, the minimum of these two processes is going to happen at rate S plus F of theta. Okay? So the minimum of Poison. So basically, if you have a random variable that follows the Poisson process uh, with rate lambda 1, and another random variable that follows the Poisson process at rate lambda 2, this minimum, and that's a well known result from statistics, uh, the minimum of two Poisson process is the Poisson process. With that arrival rate lambda one plus lambda two. That's uh, this is an important result from statistics. So here, if we use that, we know that uh, there's a Poisson process with rate s plus f of theta such that the advantage from starting employed compared to starting unemployed vanishes. Either you know, the employed becomes unemployed or the unemployed becomes unemployed, but ba basically uh, the employed and unemployed workers are in the same situation. Okay, uh, so that's key. So what that means is that the expected duration of the situation where the employed, so the person who accepted the wage and the unemployed, the person who refused the wage are in a different situation, is going to be one over s plus f of theta. So that's the expected. duration of the situation in which the employed is not in the same situation as the unemployed. All right, so, uh, so what is the surplus then from um, starting a job with a firm, given that 
any time that you have this job and uh, compared to being unemployed, you have a surplus W uh, minus Z per unit time and the expected duration of the situation in which you have a job and if you had started an unemployed, you wouldn't have one is one over S plus F of theta. The expected surplus from um, being employed compared, of course, to not being employed, it's curly W is W minus Z, that's the surplus per unit time of uh, being employed instead of not being employed, divided by S plus F of theta. That's because 1 over S plus F of theta is the expected duration um, during which uh, you are employed and your counterpart who didn't take the job is unemployed. Okay? So now we have um, the value The surplus from um, being employed here compared to uh, being unemployed.